Dominguez and Yo Muno from One Step Prep. Today, I'm here in the training room in our office in 36th Street, Miami, Florida. So you, if you're around, come by, all right? So today we're gonna be reviewing or we're gonna be talking about the Airbus A320 rack system. Let's talk about the rack system, ram air turbine, all right? So this is your emergency electrical power panel here. And we're gonna concentrate here on the rack. Now, how does the rack work in the auto position? Let's talk about the auto position and then we're going to the manual position. So, how does the rack work in auto? Remember from ground school for your initial training or recurring training, all right? Normally the rack in auto is gonna work if you lose AC bus one, AC bus two, and the airspeed is about 100 knots in some aircraft, you know, another aircraft might be a little different on the airspeed. It might go up to 130. Okay, so normally we say 100 knots. Okay, so if you lose AC bus 1, AC bus 2, and your airspeed is about 100 knots, the rod automatically is going to deploy. All right, once the rod deploy, now it's going to power the extension bus. It's going to power AC extension bus, and through an extension TR, it's going to power DC extension bus. Okay, now. This is the way that the rack works in auto, remember. All right, now in the manual mode, remember this red cap here, in manual, normally if you leave the cap and you press the button, okay, the rack is gonna be deploying immediately and it don't matter about the buses, AC bus one, AC bus two, or indicator speed or airspeed, okay? So even though if the aircraft is on the ground, and you press, okay, if we at the gate, and you lift the guard, and you press that manual on button for the rat, you're gonna send a direct signal to the rat, so it's gonna be deploying. So, we have to be careful, all right, because if it's somebody walking around, can hit them on the head, could be an accident or an incident happen, okay? So, just be careful with that, all right? Never touch this button unless, okay, it's a procedure that we're doing through the ECAM action, all right? So, remember, how do the wrap works in auto? Remember if you lose AC bus one, AC bus two, and the airspeed is about 100 knots in some aircraft, all right, the rod automatically is gonna deploy, and it's gonna power AC extension bus through an extension TR, DC extension bus. Now, remember, in the manual mode, how do the wrap works in manual? Well, okay, if you're on the ground in flight, it don't matter, the gate. If you, if you lift this guard and you press the money on button, you sending a direct signal to the rat to deploy, all right? So we have to be careful. Now, if you see this, um, this warning tag over here, it says activation of the red guarded money on push button on the ground or in flight will extend the ram air turbine rat even on a cold aircraft. Okay, so we have to be careful when we're working with this system here. Now, let me show you here now. Let me show you the power or the KVA for the rack. Let's look over here or let's compare the IDG APU again against the rack. All right, look over here. This is your IDG. You're going to have, okay, two IDG one for each engine and then you have another one then you're going to have your apu generator all right and then you're going to have the emergency generator or the rat that is going to give you the location remember it's under the aircraft so you, we have to be careful when we're doing walk around now if you look at the table here okay the table here is going to give you the voltage frequency phases and power for each of these three Okay, including IDG that is gonna give us 115 volt AC, 400 hertz, three phases, 90 kVA. Look at the IDG, 90 kVA. Look at the APU, it's 90 kVA. Now, let's look at the rack or the emergency generator. It's gonna give us the same voltage and the same frequency, but look at the power now. It's only gonna give us 9 kVA. 9 kVA against 90 kVA, that's a big difference, right? That's why when we, uh, when the rat is deployed automatically or manual, we only concentrate on the major system of the aircraft because the rat can only produce 5 kVA, okay, to power AC extension bus 
and through an Essential TR DC Essential bus. All right, I hope you like this review. You know, we just reviewed the, um, the procedure or the operation for the ride in the Airbus A320. I hope you enjoy. If you want to go or if you want to know a little bit more in detail about this system or this aircraft, remember to visit onestepprep.com. We have everything you guys need, all right, for your initial training or recurrent training. All right, so I hope you enjoy. Love you guys. God bless you. Bye bye.